Overseer Benjamin. And this is what? Oh. Hey guys, just wanted to say hi. <gasps> Welcome to Vault Four. Overseer or overt seer? <laughs> Uno seer. Oh. Hey, Pretty Pumpkins, it's Che. And Wes. We are back, and we are so excited for episode six of Fallout The Trap. We're feeling very trapped with these reactions. That's what I was going to say. Watching this show is a trap because I'm so obsessed. I can't stop thinking about it. I love it. So good. The characters are amazing. The plot is dynamic. There's a lot going on, and we have so many questions that we are awaiting the answer to, and... Hopefully, we get some more in this video. Oh, for sure. We have to. We're getting close to the end, yeah. so I expect the answers to start flowing. With only three more episodes to go, I don't know where this is going. Like, how many seasons are we getting? I'm just, like, I'm baffled. Yeah, I, I have, like, no expectations, no clue what to expect, right. just vibing along yeah. for the ride. We're watching the series as fans of media and television. We've never played the games before, but it is something we're willing to check out. Yes. So, I'm sat as yeah. i say we're sat and we're, we're, sat. we're here i'm ready to see what kind of effed up imagery they're going to show us because i feel like every episode has something that has me like gagging and then having nightmares about later um this show gets graphic y'all it does it gets a little graphic for youtube so if you want to watch this video uncensored in full length format you can do so by joining our patreon it'll be in the five dollar party pumpkin tier see y'all at the patch Another movie? Let's hear the oh, this is news. Oh. Oh, Hello indeed. There. Yep, it's me, Cooper Howard, star of stage and screen. He's doing the news now? Cool. But I'm not here today to talk to you about my latest picture. No, today I'm here to show you a vast, wonderful place. I'm loving his transatlantic accent. Cabinet. Oh, yes. He's such a good actor. Mm -hmm. It's like every scene, he's different. Oh, now strut, Mama. From deep inside the fully livable model 96JQ1164. So he was doing the and ad for the Fallout one. Shelter, mm -hmm. but he couldn't get in one. Each one of these underground burbs comes with all the modern amenities you've come to expect from our rip roaring republic. Now, this corridor here is Sycamore Street, where you'll wave howdy to any one of your 200 neighbors on your way home for an enchanted evening with your loved ones. Pizza we home. love a nice stroll home. Well, this isn't just your average all-American family. No, Lloyd and Cassandra here are both scientists specializing in the effects of radiation on human DNA. And we'll be living and working right here in Vault 4, leading a community governed entirely by scientists. I'm like, are these paid actors? volunteers will be conducting a five-year trial of Vault 4 to demonstrate oh. to the world that no matter what comes our way, America will be ready. At this point, I don't believe that anything here is real. Well, I may so. play a hero in the movies, wow. but you all are heroes in real life. Everything Veritech and does is shady. Vault Tech, what the Vault fuck ever. Because if the worst I hate him, it doesn't matter. The world is going to need Americans just like you wow. to build a better day after. That's great thing. Fellas, wow. are you happy? Oh, um, the suits right, are right? happy. Bud Askins, I have of Southern California operations. I uh, came over to Vault Tech in Q3 after a 10 year stint at West Tech. Oh, I'm uh, very familiar with you guys. You designed the T45 power armor. You know, the design flaws were ridiculous, but they sure looked great. I wore a T45 and almost matters. lost the great state of Alaska to the Reds. Those design flaws of yours cost a lot of good men and women their lives. It's, all, yeah. it's his whole personality that he, like, hates yeah. communists. Yeah. It's all he talks about. That's how it was, man. Yeah. I mean, workflow optimization forward then. It's all right. Right. Most people think scale means increasing global market share. That's thinking in three dimensions, and I'm talking about four. Because what is the ultimate weapon to destroy your competition? It's not outselling them. It's not outsmarting them. It's time. Mm. Time. Wow. <laughs> it sounds complicated, but the future of all humanity comes down to one word. You know what's that? Management. <laughs> well, I'm awful happy for you, Buck. <laughs> Ew. Bud, Bud Askins. He said, get the buck away. <laughs> oh, cool. oh, how about we clock out? Knock back a couple of pina coladas by the pool. There is a wrap party. Sounds tempting. A wrap party. All right, we go for a couple of hours, shake a few hands. It's at our house. Oh. The things I'm willing to do for you never cease to amaze me. Love them. Don't know what's gonna happen to her. Something horrible. Power couple. Or what if she's out there too and they end up reunited somehow? You might be the only one of my invites who actually showed up. 
<laughs> not our usual scene, I'll give you that. No, it is not. I think our Hollywood actor friends, they want to be seen celebrating with the pitch man for the end of the world. Oh, he's oh, fabulous. You half of it. Here I lost a movie over these ads. Yeah, showed up set. The actors wouldn't come out of their trailers. <gasps> Fucking Hollywood reds. I'm telling you, radicalism is sweeping through Hollywood like a bad case of the clap. They've even got your friend, Charlie Whiteknife. Are you kidding me, Charlie? I serve with that guy. I have meetings and everything. It's a shit show. Listen to me. Hollywood is the past. Forget Hollywood. The future, my friend, is products. That's how You're it's a product, going. I'm a product. This suddenly just got so sickening. To the future. To the future. Well, how did that work out for you, Google? Are y'all here for the ice cream sofa upgrade? I got some bad news for you. He had every flavor. Take his fusion core. There's no, no fudge yet. There's no fudge yet. <laughs> well, we've been waiting for the fudge, bitch. He's just looking in the wrong place. That's a leap around these parts. Mm. Says so, so. The government. <laughs> the fact that there's still a government. <laughs> there always will be. I haven't really mentioned it, but I really like seeing what each of these each title cards title are going to be. Each title card is really good. Gives you a, just a little taste of what's to come. A little flavor. They're in vault four. <gasps> yes. <gasps> Holy Okay, moly. okay. Teeth for ammunition. I was finding new ways to kill each other out there, aren't they? So it was not a this bullet. This is a vault, Doctor. We can't thank you enough for letting us in and taking care of us. Girl, don't oh, get too comfy. Armor. Our surface foragers are bringing it back now. Thank you. It's not ideal for us to stay put, but I gotta admit, it sure feels good to be back in a vault. I'm sure it does, I don't know if you've been to the surface, but it is... Not good. I was born on the surface. Uh, uh sorry, I, I didn't know. You seem so... Normal. What is normal, <laughs> though? Courier. I was 11 and traveled with her to Philly. Three days walk from home and we could still feel the heat from the blast. You're from Shady Sands. Many of us are. We were lucky to find such a hospitable community here in Vault 4. Yeah, so are we. I don't trust Thank it, so though. Much. Like, every vault feels sinister to me now. There's something so hollow in her eyes. Yes, yes. Hollow is such a good word. It's like... Are you really even in there? Mm -hmm. Like she felt like a robot. What is that other lady's name? Stephanie? You smell good. That's how she reminds me of too. The, the lady who had a baby. Don't ask me names, honey. <laughs> you know I only know faces. You wanna have sex? <gasps> oh. <laughs> you mean use my <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that weird thing could happen. What? Weird thing. It gets all big and hard like a big pimple and then it pops. <laughs> you know, that's uh, that's actually completely normal. It happens all the time. This show never <laughs> fails to shock and amaze. Has he never popped? Who would he? He's been with boys. He's been in his brotherhood. Um, well? Which, that's not to say that they weren't doing it too. <laughs> they're but... not supposed to? Okie dokie. <gasps> I am. Ah! I love her. I love her. I love her. <gasps> I knew it. I knew it. We shouldn't be wasting time down here. You've heard the doctor. Also, I would feel bad. I think these people are trying to trap us here. <gasps> and you're not. Wow. I've become so obsessed with him. <laughs> I was already a fan, but now I'm a stan. This is a cult. Same as any. It's not a cult. Everyone's mm -hmm. smiling. This is a safe place where people take care of each other. She's in Girl. the cult, so. Yes. But why? In the vaults, we recognize that we all need each other. Just like I needed you on the surface. So, she really needed you in the test subject show. room. Sorry to interrupt your breakfast, but our overseer wanted to say a quick hello. Overseer Benjamin, this is What? Oh. Hey guys, just wanted to say hi. Uh, and obviously, welcome to Vault 4. Overseer or overt aware seer? <laughs> Uno seer. And once again, welcome to Vault 4. We're glad to have you. I'm sure you are. This episode is leaving me with no words. <gasps> Why? Why? <laughs> Were they all test subjects? What does he have a... A mitt. I don't know. Man. There's something under there, and it's not a hand. That was weird, right? Yeah, babe. The overseer? Lots of people have one eye. I mean, this was in the middle. It's a little to the left. And the level 12 stuff? I mean... A little to the left. <gasps> Sorry. No. What is that? <laughs> tendrils from her chin? Her tendrils? <laughs> I feel like the makeup people just got in there and said, let's just go with it. Yeah. Let's see what we can cook up today. You ever think about working somewhere else? I used to, but with you doing these ads, it's, it's practically the family business. 
<laughs> exactly, girl. They, they got y'all. Yeah, they got y'all locked in. I think about it. Quitting showbiz, buying us a ranch up in Bakersfield. And what would I do? You would look pretty and help me raise chickens. I'm sure no. that sounds <laughs> wonderful. Good, this is exactly right? what she wants, I can tell. Not like she's a career woman or anything with goals and aspirations. Oh, come on. You, you've seen these around. Oh, She's, like, fully in it, though. But Askins, yeah. he licensed them from Robco. We're integrating them with the Vault Tech Emission System. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying is, we have this one life. Do you really want to spend your nine to fives working with these assholes? I need this job, Coop. It guarantees us a spot in the vault. We've got money. We can buy a spot. Uh, yeah. One of the good vaults. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah. I'm doing what I can. What does that mean, girl? Okay, just... Trust me. So she's a corporate mother. She just needs a little fuck ass Bob to go with it. Sorry you couldn't make it to the party the other night, Charlie. Guess you had one of your meetings, huh? One of your communist meetings? Come on, man. We watch people die together up north fighting against all that horse shit. Yeah, and for what? For the American dream. We're actors. We make movies, Charlie. Yeah, the American dream has me getting shot in the ass by you all day. You got it's hard to separate the fact that it's doing all right. not it our actual matter, timeline. Dude. It's I a know. different universe. Yeah. So Devil, man. My wife works here. You really think Barb's a devil? I'm starting to consider like it. Do you know what fiduciary responsibility means? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> so the U.S. government has outsourced the survival of the human race. to <laughs> Voltec is a private corporation that has a fiduciary responsibility to make money for its investors. And how yeah. does it make money? By selling volts. That's called capitalism, Charlie. But mm -hmm. they can't sell volts if these peace negotiations mm -hmm. are here. They're... So Voltec has a fiduciary mm -hmm. responsibility to make sure that it don't work. They don't want peace. Yeah. They want a war. They want nuclear contamination. You know that movie we did with Johnny Morton? You were the sheriff and I was some generic Indian? Come on, man. Don't say that. Tall hand mud lake could talk to horses. You played him with grace and with dignity. It was a great role for you. Morton played around. He also, though, is, like, acting like they're the same when he's, like, this millionaire who lives in a mansion and is the face of the biggest tech company in the world and has every lead role. And this guy is trying to say, like, we are not the same. I am the person that keeps getting shot by you every day. Like, yeah. Mm. And after 10 years of war, the U.S. government is broker than a joke. Oh, come on. Why is it so hard to believe? Come on, man. You sound like you're in a cult. You're sitting here defending a system that's ready to set the world on fire, Cooper. You're in the cult. Yeah, in the cult. Yes, yes. Yeah. Tell him. You should come to a meeting. You should learn the truth about where your wife works. Ooh. Let's go. Damn. I want to know. Ooh. Mm hmm. Gagging. Yeah, he's gagged. Can't she's breathe. Choking. Asphyxiation. But does she know? Like, does she know what she's in? You know? I haven't figured that out yet. I don't think so. But I think that she's going to realize it and maybe not Hello? care. Hello. Yeah, I think the Who is it? It's Henry. Henry from the Vault Tech Assistive Training Program. Is this Mr. Cooper Howard? Uh, I'm sorry, Henry, but my wife prefers not to take work calls in the evening. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Uh, that was Henry from work. Do you have a new assistant? Yeah, I do. Is Janie asleep? Uh, she's reading Little House on the Prairie to Roosevelt. Ah, does you like it? It's going to be hard on her. That's all. What is? You know, no dogs in the vaults. That's sick. So who? That's the policy. That's your whole life now. Your whole life is their policy. Who decided that there were no dogs in the vault? Well, I think that is a relatively trivial concern, given the prerequisite conditions of us living in a nuclear fallout shelter. The little things add who up. Who makes the rules? Exactly. No dogs it makes allowed. sense. That is a new rule. But it also, it's like, Somebody it decided that you know. and didn't share it with fucking anyone. Are the blue jumpsuits, are those mandatory? What if I don't want to wear a blue jumpsuit? What if I want to wear a green one? So the bomb falls and you want to know about your wardrobe? No, I want to know about my freedom. Yeah. I didn't go to exactly. war defending that freedom so that I could live in a cellar under the boot heel of Chairman Bud Askins. And while you were away at war, I stayed home. So you do not need to tell me how bad war is, Coop. Every day I go into work and I think about how humanity can survive a nuclear event that will wipe out 90% of life on Earth. And I come home and you're talking to me about hiding out at a ranch up in Bakersfield. And I don't even know what planet you're on sometimes, Coop. But when the bombs drop, a two-hour drive ain't gonna cut it. So yes, there will be no dogs in the vault, but if billions of people are going to lose their lives, I will do whatever it takes to make sure the people I love, that is you and that is Janie, aren't among them. I have worked hard to make sure we go into a special vault for management where we will oversee all of the other vaults. 
Mm. You don't get it. That is the best we can possibly hope for. Wow. So, for Janie. y'all are the ones that are going to be making the rules. Leading the cult. Literally, like, the assistant managers of the cult. And, like, I don't blame her. I understand what she's saying. But also, babe, you're in a cult. I'm sorry. I know you always try to do the right thing. That's what I love about you. That is really rough. I'm, I'm actually from a vault. So you are. Lucy McLean. Oh, no, no, it's, it's Lucy. <laughs> nope, it says Goosey. <laughs> Meet that natural born vault dweller every day. We're a dying breed. Oh, you're from here? Five generations and proud of it. Oh, because so many uh, people here seem to be refugees right. from the surface. Tell me about it. Oh, these people, am I right? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Oh. Well, they come in here with their smelly food and their weird ideas. I don't understand. If you don't like people from the surface, then why do you keep taking them in? It's a policy from before my time. If you want to get elected, you have to respect their traditions and tolerate them and not call them surfies. It's awful. I think what you're doing here is a really good thing. I saw what was left of Shady Sands and an entire city just destroyed at an instant. And some of these people lost everything. And that was a tragedy. So we took our share of the men and gave them a home. I want him to die. I'm very tired of him. Any other questions? What's on level 12 and why can't we go there? Oh, I love her bluntness so much. Sorry, I you should go now. I only wanted to... Goodbye, Goosey. He needs to go. He, he needs to... We need to poke something through that eye of his. Oh my god, resorting to violence right away. I but am. He is... Um, he... I get... I, mm. Prejudice. He's horrible. When shows like this are violent, then I just immediately resort to violence because it's within the realm of what oh, we're watching. Yeah. So I'm like, kill him. Well, we're normally watching horror where it's like, kill her. Exactly. Kill her. Get rid of him. What are they going to do with the suit? Not give it back to him. He's going to have to get in there and get it. Mm -hmm. Could he just like take it, take one, and take the suit? I see you found our fishing cord. How are we just to light down here? Does it matter? I'm leaving soon, aren't I? Some people who come here have a hard time adjusting to finally feeling safe. All the things you've had to do to survive still fresh in your mind. She's good. Trust doesn't come easily to those of us with a guilty conscience. Here, unit 428. How about you sleep in a room of your own tonight? Have a hot shower. Is she just being nice or is- th When you say hot shower, what does that mean exactly? Yeah, like what is it? What's in the room? What are they doing to him while he's in there? Or is it just manipulation and it's just a nice room? Yeah. She's making him comfortable. It just feels like there's more to it. Who is sending them mail? Each other. Cute. You know you got a pen pal? If I was in there, I would be dropping off letters to my friends all the time. Mm -hmm. That's so fun. But is this- a trap room. That's what I'm saying. Like, something's going on with well, the room. He's gonna go in there and... There's gonna be the naked lady from the shining bathtub or something. Like, no fucking telling, girl. Okay, first off, what's in the basket? That's what matters to me more than anything. Yeah, it's like his big brother HOH basket. Exactly. The deviled eggs and cram. Oh. No, she's a vault staple. There. Yeah, he's never getting out. She's like, oh, now you know. You're never leaving. I was not expecting a shot like this. <laughs> How were they bathing in the Brotherhood is what I want to know. With like what it. water? Oh, true. Yeah, maybe no, They're just not? They just wipe in with little banana leaves or something. Oh, God almighty help us. <sighs> okay, okay, they let him out. Excuse me. What is this? There's something so childlike about him. Mm -hmm. I really like him yeah. as an actor. I think he's really good in this role. Oh, uh, excuse me. What's going on? It's a surface dwelling tradition. It can get a little rambunctious in my taste. What are they doing? You're welcome to come. They're all sure. so chipper. Bitch, two cups of coffee max in the morning from now on, okay? Again, I say the production design of this show. Immaculate. Impeccable. I heard it was a ghoul that fucked up that super duper mark. <laughs> Nobody told me it was the ghoul. You boys know who you just brought in? This son bitch right here. Used to be the best bounty hunter to ever shoot a man in the ass. Kids these days don't know their goddamn history. In flight her ass. Hey, you got a needle in three. Sorry, we don't do a lot of knitting around here. It's called sewing. Yeah. Yeah. I think I got some in my bag. <laughs> Look at you. 200 years. I don't know what keeps you going. Same, bro. Maybe you just like the feeling of 
That good old California sunshine. Oh, that's his finger. Frankly, yeah. maybe you're still looking for her. She is alive. His wife. Well, Sorrel, I sure as hell ain't still alive so that I can have unintelligent conversations with dipshits like yourself. Mm. <gasps> yeah, I'd probably don't say that you're fucking mad. right now. That's the president of the government you're talking to. You a president now. Looks like a president. Don't say why not. Oh, this is the first I'm hearing about this outfit. And what I am hearing is a whole lot of chatter about some woman named Mole David. They call her the Flame Mother. No. Oh. You know why these boys brought you in? Cause I fucked up a poor defenseless gang affiliated organ dealership. Yep, that super duper mart you gutted was under our protection. So if I wanted to let you go scot free, folks might lose faith about what we're trying to do here. And then what? Anarchy in the streets? Exactly. Guilty as charged. <laughs> just like that. Just like that. I love how the fingers just work now, when they're put back if on. If you need more right. evidence, I can tell you about this town I just shot up. Philly. My daddy lives in Philly. Well, well. not no more he don't, unless he's a coward. Don't take the bait, son. <laughs> the apple tends not to fall too so far from the tree. He wants to act so he's tough, but kids. he's really not. My daddy ain't no coward. Your daddy's a well, bitch. I guess the only <laughs> question is, are you? Oh. Sheriff Rex. Take Sheriff Troy's guns away. Yeah, I don't think he should be walking around with that. Take him out back and feed him to the hogs. <gasps> oh. Yeah. Oh. Shit. Was that in his balls? Yeah. Ah. Probably what he deserved. Oh. Why? You have this picture on your wall. That's Moldava. Why? That's not how I remember her. Is she what? a shapeshifter? <gasps> oh my god. I don't think they should be having caffeine. Did you see his whole welcome basket was just sugar and caffeine? So yeah. they're probably loading them up. Well, that's also because it's like preserved. So right. the kind of food only lasts. They can't really eat fresh food. Yeah, that's true. That's all it. they have. But they don't have sunlight. I guess they're just growing it from artificial light. What? Oh, he came. Let's go. Hollywood forever. Mm. Okay, this is gonna be mid some more. <laughs> I was already thinking that earlier, but I will participate. Y'all go right on ahead. <laughs> Girl. Oh don't, no! <laughs> don't start smiling now. She's really into it. We need Maximus oh, quick. My God. Oh my God. Are they about to have an orgy? <gasps> Oh, all right, y'all. This is the point where we get to what we can't show on YouTube. Check out our Patreon to get the the tea, the tea on the orgy. The tea tea. <laughs> yeah. This is certainly a cult, honey. Is she a witch? Moldaver. They're worshiping her. Why are they worshiping her? Worship anything. Is this her? Is she about to walk into his meeting? Bring back those taken from us by covering ourselves in their ashes. What the fuck? Sands, blood must spill. Oh my god. He tried to tell you, girl. Ella Purnell said, Not this doom coming ass shit again. Why am I feeling the need to raise my hands? <laughs> yep! There she is! But she's so powerful, I, I get it. I kind of get it. Girl, join the cult. She needs to infiltrate the cult and get in, I think. No! Oh my He's god. No, you were right. You want to make my explode now? Sorry. Not the C no, word no, twice no. in one episode. We no, won. We need to leave. These people are insane. Yeah, they're like you. A little weird, but nice. He really should have been out there. Why, why was he not out there? Because he's doing this. He was in a sugar yes. coma, honey. I know this must all seem really nice compared to the, the shoot show that's up there. I wouldn't blame you if you wanted to go back in our deal and, and just be somewhere that is good and safe. They gave me a robe and slippers. Go on, Big Brother, and win HOH, honey. Them. It's the same thing. I'm gonna prove it to you, okay? I'm not leaving without you. Oh, he's a lost cause. I'm scared. I'm scared. 
He's never had comfort before. Mm -mm. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I love her. She just does not give a fuck about anything. Surely they have like sensors or cameras or something no. to alert that she's up there. I feel like every everywhere is bugged. Probably every room. Well, I don't. Do they have the toilets? Cameras? Uh, didn't Vault Tech make these? Would they not be supplying the tech? They're not. And oh, they. They have their. There's camera. Oh. <gasps> oh. What the fuck? Was that gulpy? It's just why did they leave this open? I don't oh. understand. I know. I didn't realize we were watching Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's a full face in the jar. Oh, it's a birthing room? Well, what's being birthed? Oh, oh. <gasps> Not humans. They're... I knew that the gulper was human. Yeah, the it arms. Fingers, and I said, I don't like it has arms. I feel like they wanted her to see it or something because maybe this what? was like a threat. Like, this is what's going to happen to you, nosy girl. Who is this? Mo mother? Another mother? A mother in waiting? Yes, a mother, a mother in the womb of a large crypto vault. <gasps> they're all full. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <gasps> and they're going to do it to her. Yep. Yep. And now Mitch she's like... Oh. <gasps> Nose goes. <laughs> Glad you're all right. I saw the doors open. I worried one of you might have gotten out. I'm sure you were worried about that. Well, sir, why did you leave it open? Hello? <gasps> what in the hell, bro? A harpoon? There's oh, nothing I guess humane. Because they're gulpers, you know, so. Are they all breeding gulpers? <gasps> Whoa. Oh yeah. my god. Fuck them all up, girl. Yes. Oh. Get back, bitch. I want to see her take down that head lady. You know who I'm talking about? You're crazy. Her. You people are crazy. Your entire culture is insane. I'm sure if we came to your home, we would say the same thing. Oh, please. They're, what were they doing? They were so normal. All it takes is, like, one injection and she's done. Please, I, I'm so annoyed at him. Me too. Mm -hmm. oh. oh my god, <laughs> that episode. That might have been my favorite so far. Yeah, definitely the the craziest one. No, I feel sick to my stomach. No, I actually do feel kind of nauseous. I, oh. <laughs> it's like... This is even darker than we realized. Honestly, it was kind of giving American Horror Story double feature in a way. Mmm, I was... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, wow. my. Down in the comments, let's talk about the trap, because we certainly are in one. As always, make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe to Petty Pumpkins and our Patreon. Yes, please do. Also, follow us on all social media at Petty Pumpkins, because we want to spill the tea with you. Thank y'all so very much for watching. We love y'all. Stay gulping. <laughs> Hell's under new management now. I like my pumpkin spice lattes extra hot. I am going to eat your soul. Sorry, I'm not into short guys.